Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is sixth video in this series and today I'm going to show you in this video how to install child domain control on Windows Server 2019 so this is um, we previously we have created our forest and we have created one uh, parent domain which is victorinfosoul.com and now we are going to create one child domain inside the our forest which is victorinfosoul.com so we'll see how we can create it uh, so let's get in so this is my demo environment which we are using in this video so we have to uh, domain we uh, domain controller which is are uh, working on vector info soul dot local so the first one is win 2k19 dc01 which having active directory and dns role the ip address is 192.168.0.201 and the second one is dc02 it's also having active directory role so let's see here so this is my win 2k19 dc01 if i go here active directory uses in computers you can see my domain controls i have two writable domain controls and one read and uh, read only domain control which we have created in last video so this is our first dc and this is our second dc win 2k19 dc01 and the next machine which we have is win 2k19 cdc01 which is child domain controller 01 this is also going to hold active directory and dns role and the ip address which we need to configure on this machine is 192.168.0.204 and you can see my domain name is going to be a noida.victorinfosol.com so it's going to be uh, my child domain name is going to be noida dot victorinfosol.com so we'll see and this is that machine so this is a brand new machine we have not touched anything this is a brand new machine just finish the installation and we will configure it and we have one more machine here which is client machine windows 8.1 client machine enterprise we are going to add this machine in our child domain control which we are going to create here noda.victorinfosol.com and we are going to see how we can adjoin this machine in child domain so this is good and now uh, let's get started so the first thing I'm going to disable administrator and hence security and then we need to configure IP address so I'm going to configure IP address to this machine and I'm going to disable IPv6 the IP address which we need to configure one is 192.168.0.204 and gateway is 0 0.1 and this is going to be uh, 201 then 202 um, also you can add this machine IP address also which is 204 and the, I'm putting the gateway router address as a DNS to get the internet address result so so IP address is done and now I'm going to join this machine in my parent domain which is victorinfosol.local and then we are going to create a new uh, uh, child domain so I'm going to rename this machine first so call it win2k19cdc01 I'm going to join in victorinfosol.local going to put my credential so welcome to the victim for soul dot local we good now we are need to reboot this machine to get the uh, take the affected so I'm going effects so I'm going to restart now and now if I go to users and computers and here I can see this machine is now joined to my domain which is cdc01 so this is good now let's wait for machine to come up and then we will uh, install the active directory roles and management tools and then we will proceed to uh, promote this server as a child domain controller and this for us so hit control 
now I'm going to log in with the domain administrator account of Victor Info Soul. So I'm going to type Victor Info Soul administrator and password for administrator. I'm going to hide this. Let's wait for server manager to complete the refresh. So this is good. And now I'm good and this machine is joined in my domain victorinfosol.local. So this is good and now we are good to promote this machine. Install the domain control role. So I'm going to install role and active directive domain services and required features also I have selected so this is leave so you just click on install so it's going to install active directive domain services role and these are all the tools management tools for which you can use to manage the active directory uh, infrastructure so so this is going to take some time to get the installation done so we have to wait for a few time few minute, few seconds here so it's going to be complete now another 5 to 10 seconds so here we go installation succeeded and configuration required so promote this server to a domain controller so I'm going to click on it and then we have option here add a new domain to existing forest which is our forest is para forest you can call it pa a parent domain or forest is a victim for soul dot local so I'm going to add here child domain which is new domain name is noida so the full name is going to be noida dot victim for soul dot local so I'm good I have full administrative rights to do a promotion of this domain because I have logged in with the victim for solar administrator account so click next and now you need to make sure what type of domain function level you want to give to this domain child domain so I'm going to put on Windows Server 2012 and you need to put the password click next and then we have a delegation DNS so this is good so it's going to resolve my net by host name which is going to be in noida for us so just allow some time so noida and now it's going to give you the path default path for database log and syswall so i'm going to leave the leave it default uh, it's going to save under c windows so click next and this is the script if you want to save this script or view this script you can go ahead and view this script what it's going to create so it's going to create a new domain name which is noida and the parent domain name is victorinfosol.local so this is good and click on next and I, it's going to uh, validate all the prerequisites to promote this server as a domain controller so it's going to take a few seconds here and everything looks good and prerequest check completed all prerequest check passed successfully so we are good uh, to click install and this will start the installation of uh, Active Directory promoting this server as a domain controller, child domain controller. So since this is going to be take some time, what we are going, we are going to configure the IP address on this machine, client machine to get this ready to join in our child domain. So I'm going to disable IPv6. I'm going to just type here 192.168.0.153, and I'm going to give the gateway and then going to give the IP, uh, DNS IP address of my child domain controller which is 204 so IP address configuration is done for this machine 
we are good to join this machine in domain now which is our noida dot uh, dot local so just wait for some time to get this installation done and server to reboot so now you can see in uh, the server the server was successfully configured as a domain controller now it's going to take a reboot to apply the changes to this domain controller so it's automatically going to reboot so you can see now it's booting up So now applying computer settings. So it's going to take few more seconds here. So we are getting and I'm going to log in now as in uh, this you can see victim info soul dot administrator so I'm going to log in as a noida administrator which is my child domain so I'm going to type here noida I'm going to type my credential administrator password so now we are able to log into this uh, server as a child domain control administrator which is noida admin Administrator, and if I go and open user active directory users in computer now, you will see we are connected to the noda dot vector info soul dot local. And if I go to change domain control, you will see it's ha only have one domain control, which is uh, we have just promoted Wintuken 19 CDC 01. So this is good. And now I'm going to create some folder here. Uh, OUs so this is going to be a noida and under noida I'm going to create uh, let's create few more folders here like users and then create workstations so now if I go here built in you can see under the users this is the user which I have logged in currently which is noida administrator so now I'm going to join this machine our windows 8.1 machine in my uh, child domain so I'm going to change here and type you can say noida dot vector info soul dot local hit enter and then we need to supply the credential here for node administrator account and we are good welcome to the uh, node dot victim dot domain so we are good this machine is now, now joined in my uh, child domain which is node dot victim dot com and you can see it from here and now moved it to workstation and I'm going to create one account to log into that uh, Windows 8 machine so I'm going to here type and user or you can create simply user 01 and set the password for this and I'm going to set never pa password never expire this is good now we have rebooted this machine and I'm going to join as a user account which we have created so it's user 01 and password for this account I'm going to set now you can see I'm able to log in so this is good you can see here Windows 8.1 Enterprise so uh, it's going to take some time to allow me to log in
So if I go here, who am I? You can see I'm not a user zero one, and if I type set, you can see I have logged in with my uh, user domain noida dot victim for dot co dot local, and you will see your logon server also, which is my ch uh, child domain controller. So this is all. So this is all about how to install a child domain controller on Windows Server 2019. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me in my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.